What's up? Hey, what up, though? Y'all know exactly who it is, guys. I shouldn't have to say it, okay? It's player papers, all right? And I'm gonna get, hey, I'm gonna get right to it today, guys, all right? Somebody call the captain, because we're going overboard. That's right. We are going overboard with this episode today, okay? I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna drain you guys with an elevator pitch. We're gonna get right to it today because we wanna talk about one of the most controversial moves in the game of basketball, okay? That's right. This is one of the most talked about moves in the game of basketball, okay? Like I said, we're gonna ruffle some feathers today, guys. This is an episode you're not gonna wanna miss, all right? So we like to extend a warm welcome to an episode we call Who With Paper. Player, player, player. Playboy in the game, it's a game changer. Player, player, player. Playboy, playboy in the game, it's a game changer. Uh, this year I'm only featuring bad the poster child down in Saxis. Ferragamas on my feet, how the game go? Something new to the game on the flame, bro. Team all swaggy, lights all done up. Walking on the carpet, looking like a stunner. VIP section packs all. That's right, guys. Hey, like I said, we're going overboard. Okay? Because we're going to talk about one of the most controversial moves in today's game of basketball. And what I'm talking about today is the spin move. Player. Okay, who knows what a spin move is? That's right, everyone. Okay, it's the most basic move in the game of basketball. Okay, we like to call this episode a can of worms. That's right, we're gonna open up a can of worms. Okay, because this episode is open for discussion, but we're gonna break down and we're gonna show you the very basics of the spin move. Okay, and so without a doubt, let's get right to it. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to take your attention over here to the basket. Okay, we got two props today. Okay, two props, two shoes. Okay, so we place two shoes right here on the right side of the basket. Okay, because as we talk about that spin move and when we break down the spin move, it's usually going to be when a defender cuts you off okay so right before you do your spin move you're usually going to see all chest okay so the defense guy is guarding you and he decides to cut you off okay taking away that angle drive okay and then that's when you want to get into your spin move spinning away turning middle get to the basket and scoring okay and when we break down that spin move we want to talk about the very basics on how we do a spin move what's the proper spin move Okay, guys, so we're going to break this down by talking about two variations of the foot placement, okay? And what I mean by that is when I'm descending downhill, okay, when I'm descending downhill trying to get to the basket. Now, keep in mind, the spin move you can do on open court, obviously, okay? You can do it anywhere on the court, okay? It's one of the most basic moves, okay? So the same logic applies, whether you're getting downhill, whether I'm in the open court, or whether I'm just trying to beat someone on a one-on-one -on -one move, okay? So with our spin move, we're gonna dribble. We always wanna be in an athletic stance, guys, all right? Hips are open, I'm staying low, I have a wide base, okay? Nothing changes, it stays the same in the game of basketball, okay? When we do our spin move, we're descending downhill, okay? We usually want to use that, if we have a choice, we want to use that inside foot. Okay, so if I'm getting downhill, I want to try to use that inside foot, protecting the ball with my leg. Okay, I'm protecting the ball with my leg. Okay, I also have this off arm. When I do my spin move, I can turn and I can spin right away. Okay, beating the defense. Okay, another thing, just like we always want to do with every ball handling move, we want to keep the ball tight. Okay, sometimes I see players when they do their spin move, they get the ball too loose. Okay, when the ball is out here, one, it, it's physics, right? It's going to slow down your momentum when you're doing your spin move. Okay, so you're a lot slower. And also, the ball is out here when you're doing your spin. Anybody can hit the ball, stealing the ball from you. Okay, so we want to keep the ball tight. Okay, one, it allows us to spin quicker. Okay, 
allows us to spin quicker and it also allows us to protect the ball. Okay, so when we do our spin move, we want to keep it as close to our body as possible. All right. Also, okay, we're not touching the ball with both hands. Okay, guys, when we do our spin move, we're not doing this. Okay, we're, 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 cup, we're cupping the ball, keeping our hand on the top of the ball. Okay, but we're cupping it spinning. Okay, once again, when we do that spin move, boom, I want you to cup it. Bring it close to your body and I want you to spin. Okay? One hand. All right? And the reason why we say one hand is just because we can get out of that move. Okay? Whether we're in an open floor or whether we're going one on one, we can spin, boom, and we can maintain our dribble by getting out of that move. Okay? So, right now, what we want to do is we want to do 10 makes. Getting downhill, okay guys, using that inside foot. Okay guys, remember, we're staying low, we do our spin move inside foot, cupping it one hand, getting to the basket, and we're scoring. Okay guys, let's make 10, and after we make 10, we're gonna talk about that second variation of the spin move. Okay, so without a doubt, let's get to it. Once again, guys, when we do that spin move, try to project yourself towards the basket, okay? Because we're, we're getting downhill, you're getting around that defender, creating space, projecting yourself towards the basket. All right, guys, let's go. The ball tight. Okay, guys. Hey, good work. Good work on that first job. All right. Now, the second variation we want to talk about is what happens when a defense calls what we call a dribble stutter. Okay, a dribble stutter. It's really getting you out of the move where it's uncomfortable and is not the move that you're, that you're wanting to make, okay? So we're not having the right fundamentals, okay? So we're not able to spin off of our inside leg, okay? If we're not able to spin off of that inside foot, okay, just like that, they cause a dribble stutter where sometimes that outside foot, the defender is right here Okay, cutting you off with his chest and the ball is in motion with that outside foot. Okay, how do we make a spin move out of that? Okay, and so the proper technique and we want to use just a little bit of the hair of the dog from our punch dribble. Okay, meaning it's kind of the same basics. Okay, just like when we do our punch dribble, Okay, we're gonna do a hard dribble, forcing us to spin. Hard dribble, forcing us to spin, keeping the ball protected. This leg is gonna help protect the ball, dribbling on that outside heel. I'm gonna dribble my outside heel right here, guys. Okay, keeping the ball tight. Okay, I'm not gonna be out here. Okay, I don't want the ball all the way out here where somebody can steal it. Okay, I want it right here on my outside heel. Okay, so if I'm dribbling downhill, that defender cuts me off, boom. It's just like our punch dribble, punch, hard dribble, forcing you to spin. Okay, same thing, keep the ball tight. We're gonna keep the ball tight when we do our spin move. We're not gonna have the ball out here where somebody can steal the ball from us, okay? So once again, it's gonna be just like our punch dribble, hard dribble, hard dribble, forcing us to spin, getting downhill to the other side of the basket, and finish it, okay? Same thing, guys, I want you to make 10, getting downhill, you're getting to that defender, okay? That defender cuts us off right here, okay? Making us do our punch, dribble into a spin, getting downhill, 
and we're scoring the basket. All right, guys, once again, let me get 10. Without a doubt, let's get to it. One more thing, guys. Remember, we're staying low. We're staying low. We're not touching it with two hands, okay? We're not picking it up with two hands. We're still maintaining that one hand, turning, just in case we want to be able to get out of that spin move. Boom. Come back, and we can shoot it, okay? So once again, we're doing our spin move with just one hand, guys. Okay? Let's go. Protecting the ball, guys. I'm keeping it close, okay? Okay guys, after you're done with that, I would like you guys to do zigzags, okay? Two down and backs, going up, down the court, back, up, and then come right back, okay? You're gonna do zigzags, okay? Same thing, that spin move, I want you to go down using that inside foot, okay? Go down using that inside foot on the spin, boom. Turning, switch hands, do the same thing, use that inside foot, Boom, turning, going down and back, okay? When you come back, we're gonna use that outside foot, okay? Meaning, when we're driving, I'm dribbling with my left hand, it's gonna be that outside foot right here, okay? Dribbling right here on the side of my hill, the back of the hill, guys, okay? Dribbling the back of the hill, boom, I'm turning, keeping the ball tight. Switch your hands, same thing, boom, keeping the ball tight. Okay, do zigzags, down and back, down and back. All right, guys, good work today. If you want more work, please switch sides, do the same thing on the other side, guys, okay? So you get both hands and equal opportunity at being great, okay? Once again, guys, hey, like I said, we're gonna open up a can of worms with this episode, okay? Because it's open for discussion. It's open for discussion because the spin move is very common, okay? We just wanted to set a universal precedent for the game of basketball on how to do a proper spin move. Okay, guys, if you guys have any ideas on how you do your spin move, hey, please leave a message in the comments. Okay, guys, once again, all you guys that are tuning in for the first time, if you have not gotten a chance to subscribe, hey, smash that subscribe button okay so you too can get all of our content and you can stay up to date on how to become an elite athlete okay you become a better more complete basketball player okay because this is what we talk basketball i'm talking real basketball guys okay and i thank you guys we had an opportunity to break down the spin move today okay using both pivot foots okay when the defense cut us off, okay, we use that inside foot. And now we're also able to use that outside foot just as well. Okay, guys, we'd like to thank you for tuning in and watching another episode of Poop with Paper. Okay, guys, pick up your heels. So pick up your heels. Good, good work today. Pick up your heels. Let's go. That's the lifestyle. Iced out lifestyle, yeah, that's the lifestyle. Dior Fendi up in the game, but that's